Today's tutorial is yet another video on how to sort primers. The questions that I'm asked most often are, do I have to and does it matter? And the answer is, if you want high reliability of your primers and for safety, you really should. This video deals with small primers versus the large primers. The small primers are more difficult since the external dimensions are virtually all the same, meaning the cup height and outside diameter. The four different types for small primers are pistol, rifle, magnum, and the military primers, such as those for the popular AR-15. These are your 223-556 calibers and a few others. Generally speaking, the primer cup walls are 15 thousandths thick, irregardless of the primer type, but the cup bottoms change, and rifle primers are usually 20 thousandths thick. Pistol cups are slightly thinner, or 17 thousandths of an inch, but what surprised me the most is magnum primers. You would think they'd be a little thicker, but they're not. They're about 17 thousandths as well. Hard rifle primers are 25 thousandths of an inch, so they are considerably thicker. With the CCI or Federal number 41s, the cup alloy is made of a slightly harder material. Let me talk about the bottoms for just a little bit and get rid of this hard rifle primer for a minute. Let's zoom in to compare the thicknesses of the pistol and rifle cup bottoms. Now I tried to draw these two primer cup bottoms to scale but you can see that yes there is some differences between the pistol and rifle but the differences aren't really appreciable. Now I want to get rid of the rifle slice and compare just the pistol and the hard rifle primer. If we compare those cup bottoms, we can see that the differences is very significant. This tells me that I must sort. If I inadvertently use a small hard rifle primer without measuring the cup thickness and reload that primer for a small caliber ammo and say use that ammo in a small firearm, I can't possibly expect it to go bang. Although closer to a match than pistol primers, the combination of mixing up rifle primers with hard thick rifle primers is if you put a rifle primer into an AR-15 you increase your chances of a slam fire. Although they are rare, they do happen even with commercial primers when they are loaded in properly. If you mix them up in the opposite direction and put a hard cup primer into a rifle then you will probably have an occasional FTF, or failure to fire. Measuring the thickness of a primer cup is relatively easy. For accuracy, first you have to tamp or press out the firing pin dimple. One method is to obtain a small magnet along with the appropriate size screw or steel nail. Some other methods involve this set of dies from a company called NOE. It's a standard punch and die set that you should consider buying, details below. You take the punch and hold it in a set of digital calipers and measure the cup that way. Taking this same idea a step further, if you have access to a 3D printer, you can print or purchase this little gem. It holds the same punch in place, enabling you to measure the bottoms without any fuss. So when you're sorting by primer cup thickness, you'll really only have three different bins. The thin cups should be used for your pistol and magnum primers, 17 thousandths. The mid-range 20 thousandths should be destined for your rifle primers. And the thick 25 thousandths cup should be destined for your 223-556 ammo and your 300 blackout. Those likely to be in, say, your AR-15s with your free-floating firing pins. This is no different than using the appropriate size commercial primers when reloading ammo. Now my research has revealed a primer cup thickness of 022 or 023 that should be treated as a hard rifle primer. 
My data comes from personal experience, discussing things with Marshall in his manual homemade primer course, the good folks at MeWe.com, and an excellent article on, it's on a website called The Sniper's Hide. It's called A Primer on Primers. I know of a more thorough sort than this called Maker's Matching, but you can use what you learned here and apply it as well. That's the subject for another video, or you can discuss it with us on the MeWe group called Primer Reloading or the Beginners group. This is Mark on Aardvark Reloading. Com. If you have the financial means, donations on Patreon would be appreciated, but not required. Details below. And if you have technical questions, please join me at the MeWe group called Primer Reloading. Hope to see you there.